The father of Retea Parsons says his daughter wasn't bullied to death. He says she died of disappointment. The police and the justice system, he says, failed to stand up for her. Tonight, as the family and public anger grows, all levels of government are now promising to take a closer look at the case. The federal justice minister, Rob Nicholson, said in a statement, while the administration of justice is a provincial matter, he's always open to hearing from provincial counterparts on ways to improve Canada's justice system. In the meantime, as Ross Lord reports, police are warning vigilantes not to take matters into their own hands. At Retea Parsons' former high school today, there was an increased RCMP presence. Police won't confirm any connection to the growing outrage, although they say there were reports of possible violence. The hacker group Anonymous has joined a vast online chorus threatening to identify the boys who allegedly raped Retea. We do not approve of vigilante justice as the media claims. That would mean we approve of violent actions against these rapists at the hands of an unruly mob. What we want is justice. And that's your job. So do it. Her mother says Retea was sexually assaulted by four boys after the group had been drinking together. The picture showing one of the boys having intercourse with her was circulated through social media. Despite complaints to police, there were no criminal charges. Retea's father, Gwen Canning, has posted a letter online saying his daughter wasn't bullied to death, she was disappointed to death by people she thought she could trust, her school, and the police. He includes a plea to authorities. For the love of God, do something. Only after Retea's suicide and worldwide media attention has the Nova Scotia government decided to re-examine how the case was handled. The decision by school authorities to back off while police investigated is also being questioned. There's no reason that the existence of a criminal investigation would preclude doing internal discipline or other measures. Retea's mother, who met with police today, continues to urge supporters to remain peaceful while making funeral arrangements for this weekend. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.